recap. Oh shit. We were having coffee and I got another casting. Now we're in a cab. We're going to the casting. And I am grateful today for this opportunity of possible employment going forward into the future. Thank you. I literally haven't done a photo shoot in like five years because it was so painful for me. You know, I was just like nothing creative. I haven't done anything creative in like five years. So I was just like, I'm probably going to suck. And I don't know what this is going to feel like. And then I was doing it and it felt just like so cathartic. You know what I mean? Like everything about it felt amazing. And I forgot how much I loved doing that. And then the photographer was so nice to me and had such nice compliments that really meant a lot to me and that felt like confirmation and Mary the whole time was like what do you think now and I'm like what do you think I think Mary <laughs> obviously this feels great <laughs> so Do you think if we, if we, if you sent her to a casting director that knew of her before, that you'd give them backstory? Um, I would text Anita, if I were you, and say, guess what? Are you going to start with her? With Anita, absolutely. Okay, I didn't know that. Next, are you going to text her? Just yeah. say, guess what? she was modeling she wasn't this comfortable she like where she is now even everything about her she's like a different person i was watching her walk going i see you already but there. i can't believe the way she walked like i can't believe it she couldn't do that she before and she would, she would psych herself out, and, but she was in a different place. So, um, yeah, so they took my digitals and I walked. And that's the other crazy thing. The entire three years I modeled, like I could not walk in heels. I couldn't, like I couldn't figure it out. I was stubborn. I didn't want to learn. And I haven't even practiced and somehow I know how to do it now. I didn't finish packing last night, so like my friend is packing the rest of my stuff for me, and uh, I'm like, and I can't FaceTime her right now, so I'm just texting her everything, trying to make sure she doesn't forget anything for me, but she's doing so amazing, so I'm happy. <laughs> We're going to have a great show, the strongest version of yourself for all the world to see. I said a few months ago, after five years, Erin Dorsey reached out to us. Her skin is glowing, her eyes are clear, she is confident, strong, and funny as ever. Today we did a test shoot, shot digitals, and walking video. Honestly, she blew us away. Wanted to reach out to you first. Send it to Anita. Oh my, looking amazing. Can we get her to Milan? She looks fab. What a journey. 
And we were like, oh my gosh, they want her to come to Milan. So then she was like, maybe should Jeff go just so it's not too much. And so then we're going back and forth and then we're like, okay, we probably need to talk to her. Because this all happened in the past. 10 minutes. Basically in a 10 minute time frame from submitting to bringing to her getting a response, it was 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. So in your heart of hearts, do you think that you should go with her? All I could do is control what happens between the flight and the meeting. Right. After that, I have no control. Right. I'm so curious. To, how do you think she's going to react? I think she's going to freak out. I think she's going to cry. Do you really? Do you? Let's do it. OK, so. You want to go to Milan? Like to, right now? Monday? Monday? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh my God. What happened in here? Okay, okay, what's up with Milan? So here's a timeline. Yeah. I should have a graph and a. a I'm very visual, so I don't hate okay, that actually. You. Yeah. Okay. Is there like a piece of paper? I never thought that there would be a chapter two. So it's like, I feel like I'm still in shock that there is a chapter two right now. But yeah, it's chapter two. Uh -huh. and they're like, all right, listen, so here's the thing. You're going to be coming out to New York probably. Um, you're going to want to pack your bags. Da -da -da. So I don't know. I'm, cause it, this is all like a blur to me, but I'm pretty sure I went packed my shit and a couple weeks later I was on the flight out to New York. Three minutes. Yes! <laughs> Came to New York, I literally was in heels in the airport because I had to go straight from the airport to my first meeting at the New York agency. I never met anybody but Kyle. So I wanted to look my best, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna be dressed up in the airport, ready to go, and then yeah, I freaking get off the plane, get to the agency, and I go in, and I was like, hi guys, and everybody was like, oh my god. And then fast forward, I walked like 60 shows that season, and the rest is history after that. It's been a crazy journey. We're actually on our way to the second show I have today, which is Tommy Hilfiger. And I'm super excited for this one. It's at the Apollo Theater, which is gonna be fucking sick. I'm sorry, my mouth is You're good. You're good. You got your shoes on? I'm going to Jessica. You love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, and it's weird because, like, it's not something I would say I have always dreamed of doing. Like, I wanted to be a doctor when I was a kid. I was a nerd. I had, like, three microscopes in my room. And I just kept walking through the doors. Like, that's what I always say is doors open and I just keep walking through them. And... When the doors stop opening, that's when we'll find something else new to, you know, go do. But I love it, and it's allowed me to meet so many people, and really, it's importantly enough, like, allowed me pr to provide for my family, which is something that, like, I always strive to do, is, like, you know, my parents work their ass off to put me through school and let me play the 12 sports and let me fuck off in L.A. for two summers. <laughs> you know... It's also when you get close to something that you have a destiny on, and I think I've talked to you about this before, there's opposition and you have to make a decision that you're not gonna let that stop you. Mm -hmm. Preach. That's good. I love, I love Mary. You've listened to people, you know, girls say they find their people here, but it doesn't happen overnight. But if you sit and focus on, I don't know anybody and I feel alone, and blah, 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 the number one, maybe you're not ready to be here. If there is anyone in this world who will keep it real with me, it's Mary. 
this is a place where you have to fight for everything that you have. And you have everyone telling you that you have all the potential in the world and all these things. You need to focus on you and don't concern yourself okay. with meeting guys and going out because none of that's real anyway, especially in this city. You have to be really careful to come this far to do all the things that you've done to get to this point. What you don't want to do is mentally psych yourself out before you ever even really started because people come and go. Get out? That's so funny. Yeah. Get in. Backstage at Pamela Rowland right now. I'm just getting into makeup. Got this amazing gold on my eyes. Feels like it's gonna be a party. I'm excited. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm fucking opening the show. I am so excited. I'm so excited mostly because my dresses are so cute, but oh my god, I get to set the energy for the show. <laughs> So far, this is my pile of clothes I want to bring. <laughs> That's the thing, there should be like a book of like tips and tricks for models, or like for first timers. Like, this is the stuff you need to bring. Like, don't do that. Like, bring heels. You're a model. Bring them. Like the girl who was told four days. It's like, no, no, no. You'll probably be gone like two months. You're gonna have to buy like trillions of underwear. The underwear thing is like so freaking annoying. You have no idea. You won't know when you're gonna have a washer or a dryer. So you're gonna have to learn how to wash stuff in the sink sometimes or the bathtub. Like that's okay. You're still a winner. Girl, I'm about to kill this with all my flower clothes. That's where you really have to trust your agents because they're the ones who know what offers you're getting and they don't tell you about half of that stuff. More so for your own sanity because if they're like, oh, you have an offer from like Calvin Klein and then you don't get it, you're like, oh, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I get that? So they're really good about like filtering information and only telling you what you have to know so that you don't get too bummed out or too excited because that can be a really intense roller coaster ride. But I'm just like so grateful that he can, he can come with me. When we first get to Milan, the car is picking us up straight away, and we have to go to Bottega from there. I'm bringing Mercy. So, we'll have to freshen in the airport. Oh, I love you. You would if you could. Opening and closing the show. I just found out about that. I had no idea going into my fitting. I had no idea leaving my fitting. 
had no idea when I got the confirmation for the show that any of that was happening, so showing up was kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, like, I gotta get in the groove for it, so. Girl, I am. Thank you, thank you. I need these words of admiration before I go out there. I'm so excited, this is gonna be a fun one, and I'm in the cutest dress ever. All right. You either set the tone or you end the tone of the energy for the entire show. And it's either the first thing people see or the last thing people remember. So there's a lot of pressure involved with that. And I work the best under pressure. <laughs> so I love that. Yes. I just want to like hug myself. That's like all I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I opened and closed the show, my last show of New York Fashion Week, which was really exciting. Hi guys. And all I really need is my own company. How's the rest of the mother fam doing? Any other shows today? No. A couple days ago, I kind of had a breakdown. And I had a meeting with my agency here in New York. When I told them that Mary and Jeff were flying in, I literally got emotional. And I was like, I feel like a piece of home is coming here in New York. And, it, and it's just what I needed. We're going to be there in two seconds. Stay right there. We're gonna be there in like two Great. seconds, so just stay there. You look badass. No, you know who you look like? The girl from The Matrix. Oh, yeah. I've told that so many times. Dude, I just feel like I'm meeting family members. You know, it's like Jeff and Mary are the mom and dad, and then I have all these like sisters and brothers that I'm just meeting, and like we're all just like one big family. Hey, when I'm in the city, if you need someone, I'm here for you, girl. Thanks. I got you. Last night, I uh, get a phone call from Jeff saying that I'm probably, maybe, going to Paris to be prepared to travel in the next couple days. Um, and then I get a phone call about an hour ago from Jeff. Come to the agency and sign your French contract with Next. <laughs> We were just talking about how you don't even look like the same girl that we met. Do you know what I mean? It's so cool. You look so good. Yeah, you look amazing. I love your highlight. <laughs> Friday, I'm jumping on a plane to Paris. Stop 
Are they in here? Oh, no.